Doesn't look like uh, there's anything in here. I gotta look anyway. Yep. There's, there That's how we found all the parts for the, uh, for the shield. Shield suit. Anything in that shaft, by the way? No. There's almost never anything in these in these shafts. Okay. Usually I just see you have grip points further no. up. Yeah, this this game is fairly linear. Usually the like secrets are just like a little bit out of the way. Mm -hmm. Um I could be wrong, but I think I've got a pretty good read on it. Yeah, the environments feel a lot more like detailed too. I think it's because it's not as uh frosty. Because it was, uh, it was not nearly as, like, overgrown. Mm-hmm. Huh. <laughs> Just a bit off to the side there. Yeah. Alright, uh... One thing I do not appreciate, though, is she is... I don't remember her panting this much. They could have added more sound effects. Yeah. Okay, Gildan, turn the valve! Uh, it's not working! Damn thing's too heavy. Glance behind me, would you? See anything big and, uh, broken? Yep. Use an arrow it on it. Looks like part of the counterweight broke off. If I can get up there, my weight might be enough to get it moving oh, again. Oh, never mind. Uh, hang on, okay? I've got a plan. I need to get up higher. Could climb up that wreckage. That's pretty much what I do now. Those are such small grip points. Uh. Yeah. This is how you get turbo tetanus. I can't imagine just gripping rusted metal. I can't metal. jump straight to the counterweight from here. But I could climb higher, get above it. Oof. Well, they're just conveniently placed little knobs. Oh, yeah. Why not? Now you're above it. No! The drop's too far, girl! Oh! <laughs> Control falling. Very clever. Going down. Yeah, I wanna... I gotta look up the voice acting for this whole thing, because... This was really just enough, huh? Yeah. This is, I think, the most animated voice acting I have ever seen in a game. <laughs> Like, every single character is... Are you sure you shouldn't jump off? Almost low enough to jump. Oh, there you go. You can make it! Let's see another one of those mad leaps! <laughs> Got it. We're good to go! Her animation broke. You were a sight to see! Bounding from metal rust trap to metal rust trap. <laughs> Still a bit of water, but low enough, wouldn't you say? Uh-oh. Uh, where's that ring? Good question. There's a croc down there. Well, at least I should be able to swim now. Snap maw! It's a snap maw! Very, very big snap maw! I see it, Gildan! Very big, very, very big! Just stay out of the way! Oh, gosh. Watch him be named after your underwear. Um... What? Gildan! Um... On all of your waistbands, I recognize that name. Gildan. What the shit? Yeah, Gildan. What the shit? She's right. <laughs> I knew I'd seen that that name before. Well, here I am. Yeah, just so you guys know, all of Wander's underwear has like Gildan written on it. <laughs> Wander actually had to take a peek. I yeah. I am... Um... Huh. How do I get down here to fight this thing? Might have to go across? I thought you were just supposed to, you know, lower yourself down and fight the thing on its... Not its own turf, but outside of the water. That's all the way over there. There it is. Yeah, I, I could fight it, uh... Oops. He's I just waiting for you. Well, it lost sight of me. Ah. But I'd rather fight it down low anyway. No, what do I got? Um... You know what? 
Let's do inventory weapons. Shadow rope caster, shadow trip caster. Let's go rope caster. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still laughing about just your expression was priceless. It's very confusing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to having NPCs named after my underwear. <laughs> well, I mean, it it could have been entirely intentional. I mean, if you think about it, people from the future, what if they just came across a scrap of... Well, that wouldn't make sense because fabric probably wouldn't survive... Would it? To hold on. But you know what I mean. Would that snap my swallow that ring we're at? Just yeah, it right up. We'll find out after I've killed it. I swear there's been a post-apocalyptic game at one point where characters were named after brand names for various objects because it was something that they had found. You know what I mean? Yeah, you might be right. So, coming down here was actually a bad move. It could also be that they came up with the name and didn't realize it was something I mean, that had been used before. I'm fairly certain mine... If his name was... Well, no, I mean, that's part of it. I've got a cousin with the, uh... With the last name of Haynes, so... I mean... The whole underwear naming scheme has, like, a little bit of credibility to it. <laughs> but wait, that's his last name, though, not his first name. So? Wait, what? His uh. name is Hain? No, no, no. No, his last name is Haynes. Haynes, okay. No, his last name is Fruit of the Loom. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> yes, burn for me. Burn to death while I watch, so I don't have to actually manually kill you. Yeah, there we go. Just tell me when it's dead, would you? It's dead. <laughs> you were right. Marvelous. Oh, it's the Gildune. Yeah. Darn it. <laughs> That's the old Gildan intuition in action. It's never led me astray. Sure, its chosen roots can be a bit circuitous, but never mind. To the storage room. To the spoils. Yeah, the main reason why I'm coming upset. down here is a mistake. Ooh, what's is all here? this water. More old world treasures, perhaps? This place is full of surprises. Should we have a look? Didn't you want to get into the storage room? I do, fervently. But, well, I got time to poke my nose in if you do. Uh, I thought for sure that it we drained enough water for what we need to do, but I wonder if I could empty out the whole dam. I thought for sure that it was Gildan, but no, it's Gildan. I mean, for pronunciation is about the same. The pronunciation's exactly the same, but Pipes, it's not valves. the same. Maybe I can drain the rest of the water from here. No. Sure are a lot of valves. I'm a should check my focus first. I'm a valves 101. I thought it was Oh, right, they're talking about shells. They were mentioning that one of the band members Yeah, Shelly. Frozen Wilds text data points quests. Yo, Shelly, I'm trapped in servitor hell over here. Got in this morning, and as usual, one of the half-baked chrome dolt was bumping up against the lock entry door on the reservoir room, moaning about requiring entry into the totality of the facility. Between its robot voice and those weird grindy sounds its limbs make, the acoustics reminded me of a track from one of the less accessible German post-punk bands. I've told them, and told them, every night... The pipe network decouples so that the reservoir can refill, and every morning it has to be reset manually. All you have to do is turn the valve thingy so that the water flows directly to the pumps. The rest of the servitors seem to get it, but this guy won't stop bugging out. So, are they talking about androids? Um, maybe? Because they had robots all... All over the place. Yeah, because this it was moaning about well, requiring entry we... in the totality of the facility between its robotic voice and those weird groundy sounds its limbs make. Yeah, interesting. Hey, hey, I haven't oh, you finished done? it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I know we're supposed to be on-site advisors, but this is getting ridiculous. 
Do I have to scratch the instructions into their stupid shiny faces? So yeah, they do have androids. My focus might see something here. Huh. That's actually, I think, the first mention of them, because they had robots. They had plenty of robots. They even had learning AI, which is what screwed everybody over. Hmm. Oh. All right. Time to get the flow going to the right place. I say this as a man typically enamored of complexities, but this looks like it might be a little much for me. Don't worry. I think I've got this. Music to my ears. To each job its proper tool. Toothpicks make horrible arrows, as the saying goes. Oh, you have to switch the pipes around. Oh, people in chat are wondering if my name is Chelsea? No, it's it's Michelle. That's where we get the shell. She's actually a clam. Huh? Clam woman. Uh oh. I really right. wish that you enjoyed seafood, because then we could have more clams and you mussels a and mind, scallops. A mind for nuance and finesse. Not I. <laughs> no, indeed. Not old Gildan. Yeah, he pronounces his name exactly like how I would pronounce your My underwear. My underpants. <laughs> Looks like I'm on the right track. Hmm. Except for... Hmm. This doesn't have anything. The problem is... This can't go any other way. This job demands a certain degree of patience, doesn't it? I'm afraid I inherited my mother's restlessness. Where's your endpoint that you need to avert things to? Or redirect, I should say. So, I need to get... This line... So this is where it there. starts. That's closer. the source. Okay. And currently I'm redirecting it there. I can only redirect it Yes, because this that's a broken pipe there. Yeah. Okay, then you have to. So do I it got there. it here. I guess. There's. The, oh, but that's the. You've been at this a while, That's girl. the broken one. No room to judge, mind. I once spent half a day flummoxed by a Karja puzzle box. <laughs> okay, so that's the central one. Why don't we avert it to that? The problem is, I can't get it up here either. No, 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 no. Over to that one. Turn it one more time. Something's not right. Oh wait, no, that doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it gets stuck. It only has two configurations, and it ends up going right back there. No, then that's not correct. Uh, wait a minute. Getting there. Was there... One back... So that's... That obviously can only have one configuration. That over there, is it really broken? Yeah. Before it reaches the... This is busted. It actually starts spurting water through the top. No, oh yeah. I meant the one to the immediate right. This one? No, no, no. Right there. This uh, one? No, to the right. This one's not busted. This one's not busted. But currently, they well, only have... Well, you see that one? See how there is a connection, but it's not on that line? Oh, you know what? Here's a good point. We have this. Okay, so that sends it back the opposite way. Yeah, okay, this... Then that sends it over. This is the direction I needed. So okay, it's there a, we go. yeah, it's a less direct route, but it works. Yeah, there we go. Send it to the end. There, that should do it. I should head back. See if that took care of the rest of the water. Yep. Got it working, did you? <laughs> of course you did. Never met a conundrum you couldn't unconundrum, have you? The door's open. Guess it had sealed because of the flooding. I am amused that she just doesn't even respond to him. <laughs> Half the time. This must go down to the lower level. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything in the water. Because I can't even swim. Ooh, goodies. Ugh, it stinks down here. Mm. Oh, you smell like that? That's everything. Ugh, smells like a Ford side morning in the claim. Sorry, just a sec. Laura? I, uh... I need to take a break. Hey! Laura! 
Why their band was having a falling out? I don't know. So, as we circle back around to the matter of the supply room. Yes, Gildan. <laughs> hoop, hoop, hoop. Confusing. We still don't have the ring thingy unless he grabbed it. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to be on the ground, isn't it? But it's probably by where we first found him. I. Sorry, uh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, there we go. He he's, oh, he's already there. gunning for it. I was like, where am I supposed to go? Soon I'll hold the looking glass in my hand. Just like Mum and I used to. Is he just talking about a tiny mirror? Yeah, Isn't no, that no. what all this could be about? It might be, yeah. I'd actually read up on the creation of mirrors. And it really wasn't until the it. 1800s that they're able to make more modern mirrors similar to the ones that we have now. Before you just had extremely shiny uh, copper uh, what? and silver. Um, not. What are you doing with your hands there, girl? Down, up, and right. He doesn't realize you're manipulating the machines. I think he's the first one that's reacted to that. I can't believe that worked. I thought you'd lost your mind tickling the empty air like that. So, uh, throughout this entire game, almost nobody has actually reacted to the fact that she has the, um, the connection. The focus. Yeah, the focus. Where um, is it? Where did it go? Okay, let's fix the panel and shut this place down. Gildan? Everything okay? I was so sure I saw it. The looking glass. I was so sure. Right there in the window. I was... Of course. Trick of the light. Nothing at all. I'm sorry, Gildan. It must have meant a lot to you. Oh, well. Much as any artifact of the old ones would mean to me, really. Uh, it's fine. Uh, I'm fine. Besides, what are the spoils compared to the Delve? That's why we do it, girl. <laughs> the Delve, not the treasure. <laughs> and what a Delve it was! Uh, by the Great Blazing Forge, I'll never forget that. Now then, I, uh, believe we have some repairs to make. He has a way of spinning bad situations into positive ones. Yep. Like his buffoonery before he was creating grandiose tales. Oh, do the honors. Oh, that's a whole lot prettier, isn't it? <laughs> what does it mean? It means it worked. By the forge! Ha! You are a wonder! Do you hear that often? I'll hazard a guess you do. I've heard something like that once or twice. Oh, she's modest now. A master of the arts of the old ones, a delver to shame the entire claim, and she wants to be modest. Ha! It's not like I did it alone, Gildan. No. No, I suppose not. So what's next for you? On your way back to the claim? And deprive the people of Song's Edge the story of this encounter? Perish the thought! <laughs> I'll stay there a while longer. But a story is best told by all who encountered it. 
Come and lend a hand, won't you? <sighs> Overflow basin empty. Interior accessible. Minimal flood damage. Sounds like the basin is dried out, too. Maybe I'll take a look. Another adventure so soon? Whew, you're braver than me. But there was no question of that. <laughs> I like him. You can't help but smile, even though much of it's... I, I don't want to say cringeworthy because it's endearing, but it's... She is. <laughs> he is... Something. Water's lower. And going by that sound, I think Lao Lai's already at the din. I wow. would say it would be cringeworthy if it was written poorly, but instead it's just... Well, so I have a an odd habit of... I, I suppose I shouldn't call it a habit, but I have... the. I don't want to say propensity. When, when a character is embarrassing, I feel oh, embarrassed for them. Oh, secondhand embarrassment. Yeah. It's like that. So, like, when, when we're, all, we're all rolling our eyes at him and being like, whoa, this guy's over the top. But we can't help but smiling because his... Well, yeah, he was charming. His vivaciousness is contagious. Yeah. And I rather enjoyed... I rather enjoyed it because I'm so used to characters that are boring. You know, I've been playing this Elex game, and, like, they try and have a similar character, but it just... It doesn't even come close. Sounds getting louder. It doesn't even. It doesn't can't even sound come good close. at all. She wasn't kidding about the sound. <laughs> there we go. Maybe she's just testing it out and hope she plays a better song. I could accidentally fall down there, for sure. Okay, drop the ledge. Deep in. She does not hop off of ladders very easily. Huh, there's a lot of ways down. It's a long way down. Pretty, though. I would love for their next yeah, series to not be on Earth, though. I, mm -hmm. between Destiny, Elex, this, and a couple other games, I'm starting oh, to get real sick of the whole, pad. like, rusted out Earth look. Last girls on Earth. Frozen Wilds text data points. Quest. Dear nobody, the autocars are on their way. Mine will take me to my apartment in Cody. Hers will take her to the Verdi port. She brought her luggage with her to work today. Everything she owns, packed into luggage. Wait, wait, sorry. Two I missed up suitcases. the line. Two little suitcases. She's wearing the fanciest outfit I've ever seen her in. It's for mom, she said. She bought me this outfit. If you can believe it, normally, like, who cares? But I don't know. She's already dealing with a lot. We walked through the dam today. Listened to all these tapes, read all these messages, and maybe this is one of those sign my yearbook, we'll never lose touch things, but I'm not scared of losing Laura anymore. We're family. We didn't inherit each other or settle on each other. We chose each other. No amount of distance, no number of jerks in bad suits or obsequious robots are going to tear us apart. So listen. On the off chance that someone ever actually does stumble onto these things, here's the truth. There was this band called Concrete Beach Party, and for a second, it was the best band in the world. And you, whoever you are, are really, really lucky because you're the only person who ever got to hear them. See you never, the last girls on Earth. It's kind of tragic. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, there she is. You look happy to be playing again. I don't know what you did, but the water drained in the snap of a short song. What do you think of the music? I've never heard anything else like it. That's because there's no other place with such resonance, such intonation that rattles your ribs with its power. And of course, no one else knows these pipes like I do. I learned them by ear before I could walk, strapped to my father's back. Thank you for draining the waters. Not just for myself, but for my ancestors and their songs. Please, take this as a token of our gratitude. Oh, three blue gleam. Hey. That's helpful. I don't think there's really anything left in here, is there? The answer is no. All right. Uh, can I can I get out of here? Can I just like warp? <laughs> Where do you need to go? Right here. So, you know how there was that structure up the mountain? Yes. That is where we need to go. 